As parents, we spend a lot of time trying to get our children to listen to us, and we'll sometimes tell them, you just don't listen, uh, because we want them to do what we tell them to do and listen to our commands. And in saying that, maybe there's something we're missing as parents. Maybe we should consider listening to them. Now, what do I mean by that? I don't mean that they're calling the shots. I don't mean that they should be telling you what to do. But I mean that there might be something significant in the things that they're saying. And I want you to keep in mind as a parent that what you find yourself facing, your children are facing the same thing. So last week in our last Pastoring Your Kids video, we talked about the verse in Matthew 6, 24, where Jesus says you cannot serve two masters and how that captures an idea that we tend to prioritize. Sometimes those priorities change. Sometimes we're not aware that we're prioritizing, but we ch tend to make something of a greater significance than another thing. And whatever has the highest significance is the master. And if it comes in conflict with any other thing, we choose that thing. And so sometimes when we're, when we're dealing with our kids, we're tired and we want sleep. And we want sleep more than we want to tend to our children. And so a conflict ha happens and, and we make choices. We get mad, not because our kids are being bad, but because we're tired or we're frustrated or, or what we want to happen isn't what is happening. And so we want to keep in mind that our children are the same way. Our kids, sometimes they're not being cranky because they want to be cranky. Sometimes they're not being disobedient because they want to be disobedient. Sometimes it's because they're feeling conflicted and they want something and it conflicts with what you want. And so how do we figure out what they want? We might know when we take some a moment of self-reflection to think about our feelings, we might know what we want, but how do we know what our children want? And I think that we can learn what our children want and we can learn what our children uh, are thinking, but it, it takes some work to do that. And there's, some, there's, there's a message and there's, there's hope and there's, there's wisdom in what they're thinking, even if they're not telling us straight. And so there is a verse that Jesus says in Luke 6 verse 45, he says, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What that means is, is when someone talks, the things that they're saying is revealing what they're feeling on the inside or thinking on the inside. And so when you hear someone talk, pay attention because they're giving you subtle clues onto the way they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're desiring. The same holds true with your children. So when your children are disobedient, listen to what they're saying because they might help you learn how to guide their emotions because again, they feel conflicted. They want to, they don't want to get in trouble, but at the same time, they don't want to do what it is you're telling them to do and they have reasons for that. And not that they shouldn't obey, not that you shouldn't discipline them, but you do want to figure out why do they keep disobeying what is in their heart. And so the more we listen to our children, listen deeply, pay attention, not just to the surface words, but listen to what the words mean. And the more we do that, the more we can maybe navigate through their think, thought process, through their emotions, and get to a place where we are both in agreement they're complying and yet they're getting satisfied as well. So I, I hope that you will take, take that into consideration. If, if these Pastoring Your Kids videos are helpful to you, I encourage you to like or love the video, comment on it or share it with, with other people and, and encourage other parents to be a part of this because we want to help our children be all that God has called them to, to be. God bless you.